Hi, I'm Matt Toronto, Lieutenant Colonel of the United States Air Force, recently retired. Uh, spent my career as an aerospace physiologist. I started initially in the Air Force with a, a desire to be an aviator, later realizing that there may be more out there than just flying airplanes. And so I took some time to make a calculated pivot into another field, helping aviators do their job better in complex spaces. So I was able to continue to keep one foot in the flying space, put one foot in the flight medicine, aerospace, medical world, and bridge those two together uh, as time progressed in my career for the last 20 years. The Air Force, uh, in a stroke of luck, uh, sent me to get a graduate degree in this field called human systems integration, which was actually a really great fit. Leaving there and spending some time at the Air Force Research Lab recognized the reality that we continue to struggle to really understand this interface and relationship between humans and their weapon systems uh, and the mission that we go to do. And performance uh, is extremely complicated. But we spent three years developing a standardized approach to really investigating that in a way that we've never done before. I think we've cracked some codes in terms of really bringing some insight into this interface between our operators uh, and the technology we're developing to continue to maintain our competitive edge. So I'll tell you, I had a really interesting career and I've been blessed with a lot of opportunities to succeed and a lot of obstacles in my way. And what I found the key to some success, at least partially responsible for that, is showing to those obstacles with some amount of grit to overcome them. And so I, I think if I was to preach one thing uh, to the next generation is to be aggressive and, and look for opportunities. There were those that preceded me in my line of work, and this was my time to continue to expand our knowledge and to create the footsteps necessary for people to follow that guide them in the right direction. So as, as we go forward, it's gonna be absolutely critical that we communicate well and we continue to push forward. And we live in one of the most exciting times ever, not just in flight, you know, that's probably more uh, exciting than the, the invention of the jet engine. It's super important that we work together as a team uh, and continue to do the, the nation's work. So exploring those spaces is not an easy task, uh, but we've risen to the challenge as a nation over and over again, and I've got confidence in those behind us to continue to do that.